I didn't even do a unit preloader. The Zerg versus Protoss. I know nothing about these compared to what I know about Terran, but I will do my best. I know some basic builds. Zergs are pretty much limited to two things if they're on one base, otherwise they have to expand. Anywho, spawning in the bottom left-hand corner, we have Cheerios, our red Zerg player who is munching away at those tasty minerals. And spawning in the top right-hand corner, we have Rykar as our blue Protoss. Um... Uh, I'm not even going to guess what that actually stands for. I'm sure I can think of a few pretty uh, nasty things to say, but nonetheless, this is a map I do not think... Okay, there are watchtowers in the top, but you can pretty much run right through the center and not even be noticed. There are... Is this on ladder? I do not believe this is a ladder map at the moment. Nonetheless, we do have the Overlord sending out. It has the fancy Overlord skin. If I could make the Overlord sound, I would, but I would just completely butcher it. Looks like we're not seeing anything fancy out of Cheerios. He's probably going to go for a standard expand. Croning out the workers. No gas yet. Um, I don't know if this is actually cross -bond. Okay, it is. I don't want to actually tell them the wrong advice. Though I do not think I'm a referee, so I do not believe that I can actually uh, talk to these people. Nonetheless. Potato. I can follow Potato for a while. He's over here looking at this. There's a gateway going down at the natural. He's not doing any sort of... Uh, Forge fast expansion. So this ramp is completely open. The scout does go out for Raikar. Raikar? Raikur? Is it Kerr or Car? I'm gonna go with Raikur. That sounds a little uh, more polite. I think that's grammar. I'm using it. We do have the hatch going down for Cheerios at the natural. And not much else to talk about here. Raikur. I'm going to Raikur all day. When you lose, you can pick a map. So is this best out of three? I really... I was thrown into this, so someone should explain some basics. I think it's best of three as far as most terms. We do have the gas down for Raker, so he's probably going to go for a Cybernetics over there. It is. He's probably going to go... I don't know if he's going to go Zealot first. He may just go for a Stalker. We do have the Overlord floating over. Still not on the way there. Very slow. Fat man is essentially what he is. Hatchery is halfway done. Spawning pool is going down and a gas. Pro uh, the probe is trying to get, do a little harassment here. Just poking his nose in. And he's going to steal some minerals on his way back. Five less minerals for Cheerios. I'm sure it will have a huge effect on the outcome of this game. No expand yet from Riker. It looks like he is going to go for something a little more aggressive. We do have our Zealot, so the Zealot is coming out first. I'm getting some slowdown. I don't get that. I might have something else running in the background that I'm not aware of. I didn't really check before uh, before I started all this. Unless we do have the Overlord spotting the uh, Nexus going down at the natural. He's going to... I, I shake? Is he... It looked like he was about to take a poop, but that never actually happened. We do have the uh, hatchery up. The probe is now putting down a pile on the ramp. Everybody's going to see what's going on. We have another scout. No, we have the Zealot running out. The Zealot's not going to be able to do much, though. A couple of Zerglings, yes, but with the Queen just now sprouting out, it's not going to be able to do much. We do have Zergling speed on the way, and a Sentry. Not a Stalker. He's going to... He might get greedy here. I don't know if he's going to go for a third. Nope, he's going to target his wall off. He has a pylon and a gateway. So far, two gate off the two base. We do have almost full Chrono, though. He's not Chronoing out any more workers. Floating on quite a bit, so I don't know if he's trying to go for something. He's not keeping constant uh, uh, spending his money. The encoder is crying in pain. Why do you say that? My encoder does just... I'm not even maxing out on kilobits. I have it set for maximum 3,500. Usually floating between 2 to 3. I did not put on a stream delay, so hopefully these men are both being honest. I didn't feel the need to put on a stream delay. I normally I stick on a two to three minute delay. Huh. Do have the Zealot coming back. It has taken over half of its true damage. We do have an Overlord floating over here for a quick scout. We do have the Mothership Core coming out. I don't know if he can actually see that. Oh, he can see the Overlord, but he's not going to do anything about it. He could easily shoo that away. Look at this fantastic shadow work. It's even translucent in the color of what that is. It's very spiffy. At least I find it spiffy. We do have Research the Zerglings probing at the front. Research is now complete of something. I don't quite know what, because I was not paying attention like I should have been. I'm assuming Gate Tech is done. Yep, the Gateways are on the way. Warp Gate, not Gateways. 
Zerglings are sitting outside the base doing a third going down for Cheerio, so going a little greedier this time, not doing any sort of push. Zerglings are going to try to push. There are no Photon Cannons up at the front, though. Just three sentries. I think he would plop down a uh, Photon Cannon just to uh, kind of help shoot these away, but he does have the Zelts just chilling here on the hold position command. Mothership Corey is going over and probing. He has spotted that there is a third, and we do have a Static D sitting at the uh, natural. Gases are currently three gases in... No, he's taking one at each base. Where is the courier instead of taking two at the same base? However, we have Zerglings at the third, so he knows when that actually is going to happen. And up here, just in case he decides to switch it up a little bit. I'm not quite sure what build he is going for. The army supply is 15 to 18. The worker supply is close enough. I'm not quite sure. We do have double gassing down there. The hallucinated Phoenix is going to do some scouting. We have three more gateways. I'm not quite sure what he's going for. This Overlord is going to spot that no problem. We do have the hallucinated Phoenix headed over with the Mothership Corps. We do have some units pushing up, though. Just more zealots. Nothing super fancy. The creep spread has begun, and on one one is on its way. Ten more Zerglings. A very strange game as far as builds are concerned so far this game. Shield drop the uh, Zerglings. Oh, some of them go down. A lot of energy expended on just Zerglings. Not really worth it. <clears throat> we do have a pylon coming down here. Zerglings running right by this. Pretty sure it will show up on his map, however, yes, he knows that something's here. He is sending things immediately there. You can see, look at that ATM flying off. The Zerglings just warm it like no tomorrow. That pylon will get nothing done. Oh, the Zerglings, mass Zerglings, army supply 34, 36, to 30, even. We do have a uh, composition moving out. Three stalkers now, in addition to this build with lots of zealots. I do not know if they're, they're not charge lots. So it was a pure Zergling against Proton, the very strength of the Zergling down. Not doing too much to actually get his from the end of the pagan. Army supply is still... Uh, not... I, 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 I'm not warmed up. I will need the, a Red Bull after this to uh, fix what I'm doing. We do have a proxy pylon sitting up here. We do have another Zergling. We are doing the best we can to put up here. Forward. No more reinforcements are coming in. Actually, there we go. We have four more zealots running down. Plus one grand armor is on the way. Stargate just finished up with a mobile bay. Observer will be floating shortly. 16 more zerglings and 2-2 two, two attack. Looks like he's going for a pure zergling build. No other unit has been built besides the queen, and we're here 11 minutes. This is very bizarre for a zergling build. I don't know what kind of tech he's going for. Three more spine crawlers are on the way. He's going to probably take this uh, third. Off almost all of the uh, ground are getting two kills. That base will stand. I've never known how much damage they do. They do not do that much damage. How much? The third does go down there. Oh, the counter strike. The, Z the Zerglings are running in. There is nothing here to defend this. This is going to run in rampant. Oh no. The Zealot's not going to live long though. Void Rays are out doing as much as it can. Haven't gotten a single kill yet. There's his first kill. Mass recall back to the home base. He's done his damage, and he is most likely in the lead at this point. Oh, very, very much so. Nearly 3,000 loss for Cheerios, only 1,000 loss for Riker. Being very cost-effective in these engagements. Seven more drones being mass-produced out, more creep tumors. Another Nexus Colossus tech is now on the way with extended thermal, thermal lance. There is a Zergling down here. He's going to lose that probe. Another wave of Zerglings is on the way. Four Infestors. He's jumping straight from Zerglings to Infestors. I don't know if Riker is expecting this or not because it's not a build that I've ever heard of. We do have double hatcheries going down for Cheerios on the back of this counterattack. They run right in. They are aiming for the... Oh no, the Colossus is going to get out. I hope he cancels it. It's not canceling. It's at 70. It's not going to get canceled. We lose all the rivers. The one Colossus is now doing the best of that. Probably soon enough to be working from there. It's still going to be able to get one Colossus. It's still going to be able to get one Colossus. Next to the Colossus, I'm over there. It's not going to be down. It's insane how much damage these Zerg.
Zerglings are doing. Two more Infestors, 28 more Zerglings. He's going straight for Zergling and Faster. Not very much creep spread, just right at the front of the base. Hatcheries are almost up. Now actually Supply Block, he lost one of his Overlords. A Robo Bay being rebuilt. Along with a Dark Shrine, they're gonna get some DTs into this mix. Another counterattack at this base. His army's out of position. He's got a long run to defend this. He's gonna get a good surround of the Zerglings. Swarm in and start doing massive damage to that. The army is on the way. If don't know if it will be soon enough or not. Photon cannons are going down to try to keep the defense. Zerglings are backing off though. Nexus did get completely taken out. Had to be rebuilt. There's another run by in the main. Zerglings is doing what they can, taking out the Zealot in the center. So much damage being done by the Zerglings. Amazing. Where are the Inceptors? I know they're out there. Hive Tech is on the way. Dark Shrine is almost up. A massive army. Armor supplies 41 to 73. Riker, though, having issues with all these. Run by another wave of Zerglings is inbound. Two Zealots being warped in right at the front. They're not able to get in. The Infestors are on the way. Do they have Burrow? They don't have Burrow. They are very susceptible to attacks at the moment. I don't think he knows what's coming. The Zerglings are running away. Main army here. They're pulling back the Infestors. He's going to have to be extremely careful with these things. These things are so tender with 90 health. They're just cushy hamburgers for these Protoss. Some Z DTs doing a run by into the main. There are no spore crawlers here. This will do a lot of damage if he can get it right. The Infestors are on the way back, though. He could probably... Oh no, he's gonna fungal those. It doesn't. You don't need detection to fungal. Oh, the observer uh, detects all those infestors. He knows what's there. They are going to work. The drones are dying left and right. He, look at the health of that drop. It's amazing how much he's do. 55 damage. Oh, the fungal. They're detected while they're fungal, and they almost all but one go down. It's not gonna be that hard to hit another one. Wait for the fungal to go down. There's the fungal, instantaneously devoured by those zerglings. Stacking 2,200 minerals, and he's not maxed out. He really needs to ramp up his spending. That's actually a lot to be stacking right now. Necroplast is on the way. We do have. Oh, he's going straight to Ultralis now as a tech switch. There's not much anti-air here except for one Void Ray. I don't know how he plans on dealing with that unless he builds some Corruptors. It's actually a really big issue. The Ultralis, then again, a Void Ray and an Ultralis, it will take a long time to chip away at that health. Adrenal Glands, Plating, and Zerg Melee Attack 3. Those are going to be some tough Ultralis popping out. Riker needs to go for the push right now before those Ultralis actually pop. Otherwise, it's going to be a munching party. Plus three ground attack. He's also on the way with another Colossus. Oh, the Overlord is trying out of position. Another Overlord. Just right for the picking at this point. Getting really close to the supply block. He needs to be more careful. There's another one that might go down. He's taking out a lot of these pre tumors. These Overlords just floating into danger. Oh, this Hatchery doesn't even have a chance. The Queen goes down. The drones, all oh, the Colossus could have target fired them down, but most of them escape. And the massive counter push. Oh no. He doesn't even detect this yet. When will he? Does he have any? It's going to be too late. By the time he gets there, it's almost better off for a base race. He's not going for the base. Are we going to go for an encounter this time? The investors are caught out of position. Oh, he could have pushed for that. Those stalkers could have had a lot of infestor kills, and that would have been worth it. Cheerios is now supply blocked at 136. Army supply is 72 to 117. He needs to start popping up. So there's six more overlords. We do have Archons on the way. Blink Tech is on the way, and Psy Storm. He's really pushing for this. Another Robo Bay. I do believe that'll bring his total up to three. Now it looks like both armies have retreated back to the center. We have an Ultralist not knowing where to go. He's just watching out over this beautiful balcony. There it goes. He's got the F2 command. Hold everything forward. Oh, the Ultralis. The army. Armor at 6. It's the insane amount of armor that these things have that me, even as a Terran player, I absolutely despise. It's horrible. 
two immortals are on the way. That would be great if he knows that they're ultraless. Is the, uh, I wonder if he still has an observer. He saw those probably at the run by. Immortals are on the way and Void Rays. He is getting plus one arm or shield just now with level two armor. Two more assimilators are going down at, he's taking a very, very risky uh, fourth here. Very short run distance between these two bases. The army looks like it's ready to complete. We do have a uh, warp prism on the way. Pro oh my god, look at all that static D. That is a minefield waiting to happen, folks. I also need to uh, edit my health bar settings. They have a new one now where it uh, shows you a little bit differently. I think I want to have it set so it shows health bars after the damage of these health bars of these ultralists. It's just massive. 500 health. I don't care if you're playing Dota. My little notification. Creep tumors being sprung out like candy. Oh, I've been looking at this. I'm not paying attention at all to me, It would probably help if I was. Let's actually see if I can bring up my minimap thing. I do have a mini-map in large. Now, he could, if he is being able to spot this, it looks like he... Oh, there he goes. He actually might spot this up there. It's going to be great when he goes up there. The run by him. I don't know when he actually spotted that, but he did. There's nothing up there. Zealots are being warped in. The army is moving up to two. I don't know if it's being time, though. The next is halfway down. 25% remaining, and it goes down even if he's driving to the camp. Ultras is in there. Now, if we can get that ultra, that would be a great win. However, he's still on board. Targeting down the Archon. There goes the Archon. Kills. Oh my goodness. 2 HP on an Archon. How, you lucky, lucky Archon thing. Killing an Ultralisk with 2 HP remaining. The worst of luck between that duo. Army supply is now 92 to 155. Riker might as well just all in push this and win it with absolutely uh, no resistance. Someone remind me to look at my settings. I normally don't get quite this uh, This frame rate seems a little low. We do have the DTs are at the main. I completely missed this again. The fungals are coming in. No, there's where are the infestors. The hatchery goes down. Spore crawler is on the way, however, the DTs are going to be here. You've got to look for them. The DTs are following. Uh, I guess the DTs got killed. There's so much static D, it's a little harder to push up. Swarm host now bolstering this front end is just absolutely stunning. He could push up right through the. Oh my god. Cheerios, your amount of static defense is just insane. Ah, uh, the DTs are in the main, though, taking down the Hive Tech. He needs to target down the Hive. Some free kills coming. We do, might have a small engagement here. Oh, it's the Locust. He needs an Observer. A bunch of Zealots are going down. Wasteful spending there, though. Riker is now starting to stack a lot of minerals. I would love to see just a massive amount of carriers, because at this point, there would be nothing to counter that. He has the money. He has the gas. More Void Rays are on the way, though. See what our army consists of at the moment. He has four Void Rays. A hell of a lot of Zealots. The Warp Prism doing whatever it's doing. I don't see any attacking down here yet. A very long first game so far. We do have some, uh, what do you call them? Changelings with five HP. Moseying on out to see what's over there. Those Locusts. He must have Enduring Locusts. Because that is an amazing amount distance they are able to cover. Oh, dear God. The Swarm Host Ultralist combo with Overseers. Oh, no. Another Nexus goes down. Massive loss of all over. And more Proton Cannons are being built. Observers down the main. That's pretty cool. He needs to push. He needs to figure out how to get in there. He needs to do more harassment. Speaking of harassment, the Zelda might just take this down. Oh, we're coming to the list. And 200. No, doesn't get it. So close, though, as of the building, he's looking to finish. I need a co-caster. I need a co-caster. Okay. 
Nah, I actually agree with that. I don't bounce off myself very well. Potato has left the game. Someone got bored. We are at the 28 minute mark. Obviously, we want to see some action here. 13 damage. It is amazing how much they do. Is he sending a small... What is going on? Why do you think I need a co-caster? I'm just honest if you're, uh... Why you say so. Uh, it looks like they're trying to get over there. They might. The swarm host teasing forward a little bit. Nothing exciting. A very timid game from both players. Riker has allowed the army supply of Cheerios to get almost to maximum. A mistake on his part. We're gonna see an engagement finally. He is poking. He doesn't want to lose this. There are the locusts. They're getting completely demolished by the uh, Colossus. However, any kills will get free for them. More static defense is on the way. It's amazing. There's just so much defense at the beginning of this base. We have a Zergling over here killing off this pylon. We have a warp prison coming down. Oh my goodness. The amount of static defense might make this a very... Yes, yes I did. I miss a lot of things when there's one person. I love having a second. Looks like we have the warp person trying to do it again. A get spongled. Do not get anywhere. Guys, this is going to become a turtle fest. I, uh, I am very afraid. Blink forward almost kills my computer. I don't really know what else to talk about. Just a very turtly, not much going on. We do have plus three shields and Zerg missile attacks. I guess that's pretty fantastic. Cheerios is now floating a lot of minerals instead of Riker. Riker's not actually maxed out. Army supply is 141 to 137. He's allowed that to be completely rebuilt. Oh my goodness. He needs to figure out what to do. It seems like he's very, very confused. Yeah, there, I think Riker's trying to poke out his minerals. Unfortunately, he's not doing a very good job of that. He has successfully gotten this base back up, however. Oh my god. Cheerios. Uh, I, I don't know where this game is going. Ultralis are moved up, moving up to this base. They still haven't noticed his proxy pylon. Hasn't even been in sight yet, however, he's gonna start taking away at that. Main base is already on the move, he teases it. He's gonna try to catch them out of position, get some damage off. Oh, they're gonna get demolished. There's the engagement we wanted to see. Boy Boy doing a great job of this armor. Completely demolished, like 105 to 107, just evening it up, if anything. These locusts just want to continue the spawn mode for really no reason. Burrow was finally being developed, and five more spine crawlers and four spore crawlers. Ah, uh, there's the carrier that I predicted, I don't know, ten minutes ago that I said it would be a great counter to what is going on. He does not have as many spore crawlers as he does uh, spine crawlers, however, it would be a very easy switch. They are now attacking us. That's actually very cool that they can reach that. They have such an amazing range. <laughs> uh, this is a love. Yeah, I know he's not. He really does need to be using them from offense. He's using them from defense. There's a great. Uh, oh, look at that. There is just. Is there an observer in this mix? We definitely need is. Oh, the corruptors are here. However, there's not enough anti-air. There's a score probably one foot where it does go down, but it's not enough. There's a great replay of a, a swarm host drop. I can't remember. It was in the WCS, which is a great watch if you want to go look at that. Nonetheless, I don't. I do believe the carriers will be out shortly if they already are not. Let's take a look at the units. Three carriers, and they're building as fast as they can cute little interceptors they are. Hopefully Racker goes for the push soon. 28 swarm hosts. That is the most I've seen in a match ever. 
eight specters, eight three or eight vipers, three queens. That is it. Locusts are just an insane number. Kind of push into that. At some point. Great, the spire. Spire. Why are we building two spires? I don't know what's going on anymore. However, we do have a ton of spore crawlers going down because he knows what's coming. Another next is going down in the top left hand corner. This is a fantastic match. We are at 36 minutes into this game. Yes. The amount of locusts is absolutely insane. Nine. Oh my goodness. I would love to see Terran with like five ghosts and nukes, and this would all be over. Forever, they don't have that ability. Even around the right, we have a ton of data game. All right here. Everything is blocked off. This Remaxed back out. Both of them running out of minerals very quickly. Let's see which bases are mined out. The third's almost mined out. The second and the natural or uh, the first are mined out. And this base is almost mined out. So it's basically a base and a half of mining is left. And this might come down to a resource race for our first game in this tournament. 21,000 to 24,000. Riker has actually completely lost the lead that he had on that near the early game. More carriers and protons to air level 3 are coming out. Six more drones, two infestors, and flying armor. It looks like he might go for uh, seven more spore crawlers. Are you kidding me? It's an amazing amount of static D. There's the push. The kind of those locusts getting out. He's dying so quickly, though, those colossus. There are six colossus in this matchup. The storm goes down. Great storm. I gotta look off the screen again. My computer normally has no issues with the amount of static defense that the units on the field. I really don't want to slow down the game, guys. I know there's a great engagement going over there, but I'm gonna have to adjust some settings since this was a spur of the moment stream. The festers are being out. Seven more swarmers on the way, another carrier, and another plus two observers. The push is going quite well in Riker's favor. Army supply 65 to 114. It looks like this is the push that he needed. Viper is getting as much energy as they can. That was going to work on all the static defense. It looks like this may be the push we were looking for. This could be GG. Riker getting what he needs, taking down as much as he can. Two ultralifts and one swarm on the way, but a boss is on the way. Riker is still being completely maxed out almost. 59 to 122, the army supply. Swarm host on the high ground, but not enough. Doing a ton of damage. There is still one swarm host here. There it is. 70 to 118. It is getting a little closer as they both rebuild a little bit. Still pushing. I'm not sure what that was. The simulators are next. Oh, the Ultralisk is about to pop. There's the Ultralisk. They're going to try to take it down, however. Still pushing. 
Riker wants to end this match. 66 to 124. He has doubled his audience supply. This is it at this point. He's throwing so much of this. He destroys the Pokemon Cavern and the Infestation, but it is over. There it is. There's nothing up here. 11 investors. I don't know if they last. It's a price. They have two more carriers and air armor. One, two more Colossus being added as a mix to rematch out the army. 49 to 130, Cheerios is losing the draft so quickly there is, I don't believe there's any chance to regain this. Oh my god. Cheerios is desperate to save this game. He wants his mining base. Oh my god. I have never seen so much static defense in my life. We have another little engagement here. Still not supply blocks because Cheerio's supply is so far behind it. He's going to go up here to the least defended base, which is perfect. Swarm post, not even Burrow getting completely demolished. Nothing is stopping this advancing army. 195 to army supply overall. 40 to 128. Triple the army supply. There's only one mining base left at this point. Riker pretty much has this in the bag. Spawning pool is being rebuilt by Cheerios because he's really desperate for this. The infestors are out. I don't know if he's going to try to go for a ton of fungals. I don't know if it'll work. We have everything booted up. Regrouping in the center. Double the supply. I don't see any way Cheerios can actually regain out of this. Go, go, storm. <laughs> Going up the good way. There's less defense over there. That's great. Oh, no. He's pulling him back. All going down faster than the knife through a butter. There comes the no push. He's pulling back. He's teasing a little bit. The drone. Oh, that poor drone. Did not know it was coming. I would love to accept you as a co-caster. Also have to lower my uh, traffic point. I've never actually co-cast with anybody, so it will be great practice as I watch everything. Now there goes the storm. Twenty-six to one point two. 